and welcome to Sadie Spincraft. Today we are washing locks and I might dye them, I might not, we'll see. Hope you enjoy it. So here I have um, Paul with locks. You can see I've how I've stacked them. And these have not been washed at any point, so we're going to do this properly. So in here I have boiling water and yes there is boiling kettle water in here today so I do have something to prod it with. I'm daft but I'm not that daft. So let's add apple scented washing liquid. I use fairy because yeah I am a snob. I'm going to mix that up so that all the water has some in and we're going to place these in laid down. I say I'm not daft, I'm still using a hand. But you'll be able to tell with these ones that they haven't been washed because you'll get that mucky brown rather than just the cream, creamy colour in the water. So. I'm going to leave these here for a good 15-20 minutes until the water is cooler but not cold. So if I leave it to go cold, all that lanolin that comes out of it will then stick back onto the locks and I don't want that. I want these nice and clean. So I'm just going to pull that out so I can get out of them in a bit. And I am not going to squish them, rub them or anything. When I come to take them out of here, I will literally sandwich the water out so that I'm not agitating the locks at any point because I do not want to felt these so yeah and then we'll come back for the second and third rinse maybe but I will do it all in boiling hot water because I don't want the lanolin sticking and the reason why I'm doing it in a bucket today is literally because Chris would kill me if I did it in the sink because it would block the sink. The lanolin would stick like oil or fat and you don't put oil or fat down your sink so why would you do it with lanolin? But have you have you noticed the difference in watercolour how it's a brown rather than a cream? So yeah we'll leave that in there to soak for a good 15-20 minutes. I'll be back shortly. Sorry about that, just shut the door. Um, so you'll notice I've taken them out. Look at the state of that, you, my hand just disappears. So I'm going to do another soapy wash. So I'll be back in a sec with some clean water. So I've got some more hot water, some more soap, because I like to make sure. As you can see, the tips aren't that clean. I don't know if you can see that. but. Yeah, they will get there. So, in the go again. Get the stick. Just put them back in there. And then I'll leave them again. I'll get you out. Get you out. So I'll leave them again for another 15, 20 minutes. And I'll come back and show you just how mucky the water is still. <laughs> That's why I use a lot of washing up liquid. Come on, get in. The reason why these are floating so well is because of the bubbles from the previous wash. Oh, never mind. But you can see that the water's already turning. 
and once again it's got a kettle full of water and hot water to make sure that it is hot enough. I probably won't get all them black tips out until I card them or well, flick them or um, comb them. I don't think I'll be combing them because like I've said previously I want to comb but my table is just a complete mess until I can get my corner sorted and the shelving sorted it's going to be a mess so this is how we're working today so just, I just want you to go in and stay in I'm going to leave that there for another 15 20 minutes. So, as you can see, it's still quite creamy and mucky in there. So, we're going to start the rinses and I'll keep rinsing until it runs clear. So, I do the rinses in the same temperature hot water because if you use different temperatures you do end up felting without actually realising. So I'm going to put these in and there will more than likely be bubbles in at the end of it because ho, oh, do you know I am terrible. I've got a stick there and I'm using my blooming hands because it does have washing liquid in. So, But you can see the difference, or I can, I don't know if you can, in the colour from when we first started. So I shall leave these in here for, I'd say 10 minutes, and then I'll do another rinse, which will probably take another 10 minutes. And then they'll go through the spin dryer and on the um, Maiden to dry. I know they still look mucky, but like I say, majority of that will come out when I start flicking the locks. Sometimes I wash each lock separately, and um, I think I did a video of that last year, last summer, of washing each lock separately, but it takes time, and that's just me being a ninny because back then it was like oh I have to get all the muck out but since then I've come to realize you don't need to get every last bit out because yeah it comes out while you're uh, flicking the locks I weren't actually moving them around then I was just kind of squeezing the water or the air out so that the water can get into it but as you can see look at the difference in color already it may not need a third rinse. We shall see. So, push it to the bottom. Oh, it might do. Because there is a bit of muck still coming out. I can tell I've been putting my hands in because. It's not bothering me as much now. <laughs> I am terrible when it comes to hot water. It, most people it affects me. Not so much. <laughs> I think that's because I just like heat and hot things. Because I don't like to be cold, even though I'm wearing no socks or shoes on a cold floor. Because, you know, that's normal for Sadie. So I'll be back shortly to show you the end result once I have spun them because I don't think they're going to need another rinse. So I'll spin it in the spin dryer and I'll be back. So I changed my mind on washing them straight away. Well, 
drying them straight away. I'm going to actually dye them purple to go with the rest of the spin, well, fleece to jumper series. Seeing as these are the fleece to jumper locks. And I'm just going to pop them in there. So that's one lot. They look filthy, but they're actually not. <laughs> we may get some more lanolin come out when we do this because these are famous for keeping hold of the lanolin. So in that goes. This water as well, I've reused the water from the rinse. And added some citric acid. So all I'm going to do now, before I turn those on, is add purple dye all over. And I mean all over. We're going full hog on this one. I have full purple, seeing as I have a lot of pinks. And light purple so we're gonna add some dark purple and if I need to I do have more powder to add into the mix so while that's still it's not hot but it's cool we shall get that running through all the fleece oh, look at that colour isn't it beautiful so I'll turn the heat on on that and leave it for about 20-30 minutes as it takes longer to soak up in fleece than it does yarn or roving. So I'll be back shortly. I'll just turn that on. Back soon. And here are all the locks nope, out ready and drying. And I just did a, a few extra while I was at it just to soak up the little bits that were left. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So yeah, these are my beautiful locks. And I, once they dry, I shall card, put into a bat. Look at them, if we turn it over. What? Look at them. Look at them. Oh, so pretty. Although it's, you're not seeing the full colour because it's white it, uh, whiting it out. Wait, so do that again. Look. These are just so soft and not felted either. I mean, the bases are, they always do, but that will come apart. I won't show you while it's wet. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're a returner, thank you very much for joining us. And no matter where you are in the world, I want you to do what you love doing. No matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing and have a fantastic time doing it sorry i'm in my kitchen but hunter's playing on the playstation and making a lot of noise I'm surprised you haven't heard him throughout so yes i am so happy with how my locks turned out and a little bit of extra that i did while i was off camera they have been through the spin dryer so they should be dry by tomorrow evening fingers crossed when oh, i've got lovely purple hands as well you know, these things happen. I can't help myself but touch because I'm that way out. Oh, that sounds wrong. I'm on about my fibre. Can't help but touch my fibre when it's got dye and stuff in. Yes, I need to think about what I'm saying. <laughs>
So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, if you are new, hit that subscribe button. And comment below on whatever you want. And don't forget to leave the thumbs up. I love you all so much. See you later. Bye.